what if the Soviets launched a nuclear attack? How would the US keep communications alive? The Advanced Research Projects Agency, ARPA, needed a system that could survive chaos, destruction, or even the loss of major command centers. So in 1969, they funded a bold experiment, connecting distant computers so information could reroute itself even if parts of the network were destroyed. It was called ARPANET. The first message was sent on October 29, 1969, between UCLA and the Stanford Research Institute. They tried to type LOGIN, but the system crashed, and only LO went through. But that tiny two-letter message marked the birth of something huge. What started as a military precaution quickly expanded across universities, laboratories, and eventually across borders to the UK and Norway linking scientists during a time of global tension. Over the next two decades, ARPANET evolved, absorbed new ideas, new users, and eventually transformed into the open global network we now call the Internet. The world's most powerful communication system started as a US defense experiment meant to keep the country alive. But 